Why does data visualization matter? Simply put, data visualization, or data viz, does three things for us. It enables us to better understand the world around us, communicate that understanding to others, and avoid being deceived by the deliberate misuse of statistical charts and graphs. The power of data viz hasn't always been appreciated. For a long time, many statisticians considered it to be largely a waste of time, something that could be bypassed in favor of simple summary statistics like means, medians, correlations, and the like. Determined to show the error of this view, in 1973, the statistician Frank Anscombe published his famous Anscombe's Quartet in a paper entitled Graphs in Statistical Analysis. The quartet consists of four data sets, each comprising 11 pairs of XY coordinates. The summary statistics for these four data sets are identical out to two or three decimal places. All four have the same mean, standard deviation, correlation, and regression equation. The central tendency of all four data sets, in other words, is effectively identical. So, from this point of view, these datasets are indistinguishable from one another. When we graph them, however, a different story emerges. We immediately see outliers, curves, and various linear relationships. Graphed, these datasets each tell a completely different story. Graphed, we realize that these datasets are very different from each other. And, as Anscombe pointed out, these graphs put the lie to the idea that we can understand data without visualizing it. 45 years later, two scientists published a paper updating Anscombe's Quartet for the 21st century. Their version coerces data into 12 unique shapes, including the outline of a dinosaur lovingly nicknamed the Datasaurus. As with the original quartet, the Datasaurus dozen are essentially indistinguishable from one another using simple summary statistics, but once again the data, once plotted, tells us a very different story. Visualization is the fun part of analytics taking raw data or the results of a complex analysis and making them intuitively understandable. Data visualization is a creative discipline that enables us to explore our data before we begin rigorously analyzing it. The possibilities for data visualization today are nearly limitless. With little more than a web browser and a working knowledge of JavaScript, we can create anything we can imagine. Open source software packages and desktop applications like Excel and Tableau enable virtually anyone to visualize their data cleanly, accurately, and intuitively with only modest amounts of training. And the growing power of virtual and augmented reality promise to soon make it possible for us to physically interact with our data in a way never before possible. Like all powerful tools, however, data visualization can be used for nefarious purposes. Simple design decisions, invisible to the uneducated, can mislead, confuse, and outright deceive their intended audience. A classic example involves truncating the y-axis on bar plots. At first glance, this bar plot seems to show a better than 2 to 1 advantage for candidate 1 over candidate 2. But if we start the y-axis at 0, we see the true relationship, a modest lead for candidate 1. Even this is misleading, however, for polls always have a built-in margin of error, often 3 points in either direction at 95% confidence. So, if we replot the results to show both the estimate and the margin of error, we can see that the results overlap, effectively telling us that as far as our poll can determine, this election is a toss-up. This example seems to show R.A. Dickey's knuckleball velocity decreasing by 50% since his previous season. In reality, a truncated y-axis exaggerates an actual change of only 2 miles per hour, or 2.5%. In this famously misleading example, the y-axis was simply flipped over, violating our conventional expectations of how data should be displayed and therefore causing us to assume, at first glance, that enactment of Florida's standard ground law coincided with an increase in firearm deaths, which then declined precipitously. The only problem with this conclusion is that it is exactly wrong. Sometimes the problems with data visualization don't even rise to the level of deceit or intentional trickery. Sometimes, they're just plain inconsiderate. Consider this pie chart purporting to show the relative share of some unnamed commodity between Lithuania and the Czech Republic. Aside from the questionable decision to use a pie chart, which is generally considered anathema among data professionals, we may not notice anything wrong with it. Unless, of course, you happen to have protonopia or red colorblindness. In that case, all you see is a circle. And even if we avoid the trap of creating visualizations that are unreadable by, by our colorblind colleagues, we still often use color inappropriately. Consider this example. 
we are greeted with an entire palette of colors that give us a general feel for the trends in the underlying data, but tell us nothing specific. By the judicious use of color, we preserve the sense of the underlying trends while directing our audience to the data series in which we are most interested. The truth is, doing data visualization is easy, but doing it effectively, ethically, and accurately can be challenging. Our data visualizations are colored by our beliefs, our values, and our perception of colors and shapes. Like this early Babylonian map that shows Babylon at the center of the world, surrounded by a great salt sea, our visualizations are a product of our assumptions, values, and the inaccuracies of our data. To learn how to use data visualization correctly is, in part, to learn how to think more effectively. And that, in a nutshell, is why data visualization is important. If you've enjoyed this and are interested in learning more, please click the subscribe button below or join our LinkedIn group at People Analytics Alaska. And of course, your likes and comments are always appreciated. Until next time, happy learning.